everybody, it's Mary with Cascade, and I'm here today with our resident chemist, Maxwell. Hi, Maxwell. Hi. And he's going to give us a, a quick overview of our Pure Path distillation system. Uh, Maxwell, lots of moving parts here, lots of temperature controlled zones. Mm -hmm. Again, it's a complete turnkey setup. So why don't you go ahead and at a super high level, go over the various components and what their function is when you're making some sort of a, a distillate. So All right. take it away. So how this works is you start by putting some crude into this feeding flask here. It's kept warm, it's jacketed so that it stays thin enough that it can flow through this little tube right here. And it'll dribble down into the inside of this wiped film system where we have these Teflon blades that spin in a circle to help keep the surface area of our of our crude oil as large as possible. So it will evaporate up, recondense on that column in the middle, and drip down into this flask where we will get a concentrated solution. So I've seen people refer to these, these receiving flasks as the lights and the heavies. So mm -hmm. can you talk about um, what the lights are when you get this separation and this, this uh, condensation? What is generally landing in the heavies, and what would generally be classified as the lights? So, for example, if we were doing like a, a, a CBD, a, dist, a, hemp, uh, a hemp distillate on our way to, to a CBD distillate yeah. or isolate. So what would, how do those separate, and, and what would be made up of the lights and the heavies? Yeah, so the first thing you're going to do is uh, you start with your crude in here, and it's going to drip down, and your light fraction is always going to end up in this. And depending on your temperature parameters, that light fraction, the first run it should be terpenes. You're going to end up with terpenes down here, and everything else is going to end up in this heavy fraction. Okay. Uh, you would then take this flask off, dump it out, uh, save the terpenes to use for later, and put your, your heavies back in through the top and distill them down again at a higher temperature so you can get other constituents out of it. I speak slang, Maxwell speaks <laughs> chemistry, so we'll, we'll get through this here. Okay, and what are some of the adjustability features that you find on a system like the, uh, like the Pure Path? It looks like we have a flow rate here, we have some vacuum adjustability here, obviously temperature control. Can you go through some of those things? Uh, yeah, so this controls the flow rate at which it's your crude is going to be dripping down into the column. Uh, we have this candy cane here that allows you to add or remove vacuum from your feeding flask by removing vacuum. While there is a vacuum in here, you essentially have um, 14 pounds per square inch pressing down on this, forcing it into the inside of the system so that uh, a thick slurry will be able to distill. And we can also control the, on the Heidolf overhead stirrer, mm -hmm. we can control the the rate of the wipers, I would imagine yeah. that, um, that that can make a big difference in the quality of the, Absolutely. Of the distillation. You can change well. the rate and also the direction so that it is either spinning down into one flask or that it is spinning up and being held against the hot glass for longer. And then tell me what's going on here with these two, with these two cold traps. Yeah, so these cold traps are good for catching volatiles like uh, ethanol or really light, like lighter than your light fraction constituents, and they protect your vacuum so that when you're running this, it doesn't ruin it. Excellent point. One, one thing I'd like to bring up about why Cascade uses the Asahi glass, this is gorgeous, very high quality glass out of Japan, is that the vacuum integrity, it, it's such high quality glass, it's so smooth, the vacuum integrity on some of these joint and connection places really make sure you get a fantastic vacuum, depth of vacuum, mm -hmm. which gives you a, a, a better distillation process altogether. Yeah. But what I really like, and one of the reasons why we've chosen this glass, is it has, it's so high quality and the vacuum integrity is so good, the joints can be greaseless. A lot of lesser um, distillation systems, that's my phone, I'll get it. Tell them I'll call them back. Um, with, with lesser glass, you'll see a lot of people take a big old hunk of vacuum grease to get those connections, to get that kind of vacuum integrity. But with the Asahi glass, you don't need to put a big old chunk of vacuum grease in there. Because guess what happens? As soon as you have vacuum grease in there and you introduce 
some temperature or some vacuum, that grease just melts right into your distillate. So that's no bueno for something that we're making that people are oftentimes going to be consuming. So anyway, I hope you found this uh, informative. We'll be back with a couple other smaller segments on some other finer points about our Pure Path distillation system. And if you have any questions, you call us. Uh, Maxwell, Jackson, any one of our sales staff would be happy to answer any questions for you. Thanks so much.